Welcome, my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Raghuvira Deshpande from Pune, Maharashtra State, India, would like to welcome you all in my Ayurveda Academy YouTube channel. My dear friends, as you very well know that my channel is for the medical students, of course, for the Ayurveda and allopathy also, homeopathy also, pharmacy also, and it is also for the professors, it is also for the doctors, for the patients, and for the common man also. The language is Marathi, Hindi, English, that all the videos are available in different languages. Today, this is the class of uh, Stri Roga Vidyan. Actually, this is the subject for the third year BAMS students, Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery. But this lecture is useful to common man, also to the patients, female, uh, uh, what you can say, the sector of the society, because these Yoni Vyapada, actually, these are the group of the diseases. Yoni Vyapada is an Ayurvedic terminology. I know that very few people are knowing Ayurvedic terminology. But it is very easy to understand. Yoni is nothing but the female reproductive system, female genitals. And these all the 20 diseases are related with the different gynecological problems. So one by one, we will discuss about this Yoni Vyapada. First, we have already discussed in the last lecture that is Vataja Yoni Vyapad and Pittaja Yoni Vyapad. Now today we are starting with the Shleshmika Yoni Vyapad. Just to make a list of today we are going to see nearly seven different gynecological problems related with the female gender. So this is the first Shleshmika. Shleshma is a cough. Yoni Vyapad. Vyapad is like a disease here. In the Panchakarma Vyapad is a complication. But here it can be considered as a kapha predominant diseases. Okay. Then there is a sannipatic yoni vyapada. Sannipatic is a amalgamation, mixture of all the three doshas. Vata, pitta, kapha, everything is disturbed. So sannipatic in any disease is difficult to cure. Sannipatic prognosis is always bad. Okay. Then we will discuss third, Rakta Yoni. Then fourth is a Lohita Aksha. Fifth is a Acharana. Then sixth is Ati Charana. And seventh is a Prak Charana. Please don't take any tension. We will, it is very interesting topics to understand a general knowledge about Ayurveda. So Shleshmika, can you see here? Shleshma is a Kapha. In Ayurveda, there is a Vata, Pitta, Kapha, bioenergies. And this is the problem with the Kapha Dosha. So naturally, Nidan, Nidan is the cause. The cause of these problems is Kapha, Kar, Ahar and Vihar. Ahar is a food and Vihar is a lifestyle. So any person is eating lot and lot sweet substances, sour substances, salty substances that will increase the Kapha in pathological manner. Then if anybody is doing sedentary life, only baitna hai, baitna hai, baitna hai hamesha. So that can also prakop the kapha dosha. So that is, there may be some obesity. There may be some obstructions. So these are kapha. Kapha is a heavy, high calorie food. Excessive cholesterol. This is all related with the kapha. PCOS, polycystic ovarian disease. There is one addition. Vihar is also related with sedentary life and always working in the air-conditioned atmosphere. Because some ladies now working in the computer sector like IT uh, ladies, information technology, they, their offices have already ACs and they have to sit all the time in the AC rooms. So that is a kafakar vihar. Abhishandi is a fermented product. The simple example is a curd, C-U-R-D. Then most of the in India, South Indian part, like for example, Masale Dosa, Uttappa, Idali, these are the names, South Indian food, they are mostly fermented products. So if the lady is having Pleshmika type of Yoni uh, diseases, then she should avoid these Abhishandi substances. According to the Charak, mainly you can concentrate only on the Charak because Sushrut and Vagbata, they are very similar. So here, I will not uh, repeat the Sushruta and Vagbata, but Charak, we will, Charak Chikitsa Sthan, chapter number 30, 
we will discuss those points predominant. In the first round of study, I will request, in spite of getting all Suchirut, Vagbhat together, concentrate on Charak. Okay? So, Charak is two chikitsidhe. He is a master of gynecological problems as well. So, this is the Shleshmeka Yoni Vyapa. This is the name. Dosh is a kapha. What are the lakshanas? Pitchila. Stickiness. The straw. Discharge. She will get, the lady will get the discharge with white in color. That is leukorrhea. There will be pitchila. Stickiness will be there. Kandu is a very specific. Itching. Vata is a, related with the pain. Pitta is related with the burning and Kapha is related with the Kandu or itching. So vaginal itching will be there. There may be candidiasis, there may be trichomoniasis, fungal infection in the genital tract. Kapha yoni vyapad. Okay. Alpa Vedana. Vata dosha, more Vedana. Kapha dosha, less Vedana. Vedana means pain. Then Pandurvarna. Anemic condition will also develop. Arthavastra, whichever the discharge she will get per vaginal discharge will be uh, faint color and also pitch chiller that is sticky. Now we have to do the chikitsa that is management. Naturally, we have to treat the patient opposite to kapha. What is the charak principle of treatment? Do you remember? First management is, always remember in every lecture I will tell you, for all my dear viewers, you may be patient. You may be common man. Ayurveda says, if you want to treat any, any, any disease, first management, Sankshepataha, Kriya Yogo, Nidana Parivarjanam, Nidana Parivarjanam. Remove the cause. Remove the cause. If the lady is sedentary lifestyle, take the exercises. If she is sitting in the air condition, Shut off. Shut off the air condition. If she is eating too much fried food, stop taking fried food. This is called as Nidana Parivarjanam. I hope you are getting the, my point. That is the first principle. Then next, what is that? Patya Patya. In the food, in the lifestyle you have to improve. And then there comes the Samanya Vishesha Siddhanta. Yes, I know. I will translate it. Samanya Visheshiddhanta Principle of Principle of Homologous and Heterologous That means Kapha Vruddhi is there we will, we will try to reduce the Kapha Reduce the Kapha Kapha is increased, reduce the Kapha By food and by lifestyle Okay, so that is called as a Kapha Gna Kapha Gna Management Kapha Gna Ahar Kapha Gna Vihar Kapha Gna Aushadi. Sir, what is that Gna Gna Gna? Anti. Anti Kapha food, anti Kapha lifestyle, anti Kapha medicines. Is it clear? Okay. What are the properties of Kapha? You must remember. Priya Shari, first year BMS. What are the properties? Do you remember? I will tell you. Snigdaha Shito Guru Mandaha. Shlakshna Sandra Mrudusthiraha Snigdaha Shito Guru Mandaha Shlakshna Sandra Mrudusthiraha So Snigdha is a property. We have to use the Ruksha, dryness. We have to reduce the Pichilata, Ushna Dravya, hot Ushna Virya Dravyas. Basti with Gomutra because Gomutra is a Ruksha, Gomutra is a Ushna, cow's urine mixed with the Katu Dravya, Varti Prayoga. Suppository. Uh, suppository. Then Udumbara Taila. We can use the medicated or simple oil. Udumbara Taila. Udumbara Dugdha. Then Dhatakyadi Taila. These are the mentioned in Charaka Samvita. Yoni Prakshalana. Dush. Yoni Prakshalana. Washing of the local vaginal area with the buttermilk, with the cow's urine. Shukta Trifala Kvat. We are maximum times we are using trifala kvat. Can you see here? Trifala kvat, decoction. Then pippali, internally. Then loha basma, ayam, haritaki. Huh? With madhu. It's the best laxative and this is the best rasayana. Rasayana for the kapha dosh is haritaki. Rasayana for vata pitta dosh 
आमलकी देवर फरगेट अभया आमलकी अवलेह यू रिमेंबर चरक संविता रसायन अध्याय देर टू रसायन द्रव्याज आर मेन्शंड वन इज अभया हरितकी एंड सेकंड इज आमलकी तो आमलकी इज फॉर वातपित्त हरितकी इज फॉर द कफ दोष एंड आम ओके देन पिपली लोह भस्म हरितकी एंड मधु देन श्यामा दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द प्लांट कल्क धारण कल्क धारण माय डियर फ्रेंड्स हियर आई विल ऑल्सो लाइक टू टेल यू सम इम्पॉर्टंट कल्पाज सो व्हीवर्स द स्टूडेंट्स are requested to take the dictation from professor deshpande dictation in addition to this these are the notes i am giving you another dictation for kafaja yoni vyapad write down start writing come on you can use tablet chandra prabha best tablet because these are difficult to manage with this charaka samhita so i am giving you the practical knowledge which many gynecology ayurvedic doctors are using in their practices for kapha jayoni vyapak we are using chandra prabha tablet arogya vardhini tablet and laghu malini vasant tablets for kapha jayoni vyapak chandra prabha arogya vardhini and laghu malini not all sometimes chandra prabha chandra, sometimes arogya vardhini sometimes mixture then in the bhasma to remove the clay the we are using jasad bhasma jasad bhasma is kled nashana kled nashana then aswa to absorb the secretions lodhrasav lodhra is a kashay astringent so it absorbs lodhrasav what is the rasayan pugapak this is the jam pugapak suvarna malini vasant pushanuga churna pushanuga churna and pippali rasayana what will be the pathya the lady should avoid the sweet and anxious fatty substances she should avoid day time sleeping and she can consume bajari bajra she can consume the green leafy vegetables so this is about the kapha jayani vyapad now correlation with the modern medicine the clinical features itching anxiousness discharge leucorrhea mild pain without pain are suggestive of trichomonal infection or monilear infection okay now we will go further please write down next title sannipatik yoni vyapad we will concentrate only on the charak this time in the revision we will go for sushrut and vagbat so this is a what is the causes विरुद्ध आहार विहार इनकॉम्पेटेबल फूड विरुद्ध आहार फॉर एग्जाम्पल उष्ण वीर्य द्रव्य एंड शीत वीर्य द्रव्य टेकिंग टुगेदर देन फ्रूट्स एंड मिल्क टेकन टुगेदर मिल्क शेक देन फ्रूट सैलेड दैट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड बाय आयुर्वेदा सो दिस इज विरुद्ध अन्न इज अ सेपरेट कंसेप्ट इनकॉम्पेटेबल फूड स्टफ दैट वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ अकॉर्डिंग टू द आचार्य चरक सान्निपातिक योनि व्यापक दोषाज आर ऑल थ्री वात पित्त एंड कफ लक्षण विल बी ऑल ऑफ देर विल बी पेन बिकॉज वात इज देयर देर विल बी बर्निंग बिकॉज पित्त इज देयर देर विल बी इचिंग बिकॉज टेशमा इज देयर आर यू गेटिंग ऑल लक्षण विल बी देयर देन देर विल बी ऑल्सो वजैनल डिस्चार्ज अगेन पिचिल स्टिकीनेस आम विल बी देयर and chikitsa you have to give the three dosh balancing chikitsa three dosh we have to control all the doshas it's very difficult to cure now for sannipatik yoni vyapak i will suggest of course everywhere sankshepatah kriya yogo nidana parivarjanam but there you can write down you can use tagradi tail pichu pichu is a swab pichu is a swab vajana swab you take the tagradi tail for the yoni dhavana for the yoni dhavana you can use the decoction which is called as aragvadhadi kashaya aragvadhadi kashaya can be used for dush vajana dush now we will go further but here sannipatik you can compare this 
सन्निपातिक योनि व्यापक इज सजेस्टिंग क्रॉनिक कंडीशन एसोसिएटेड विथ इन्फेक्शन एंड इन्फ्लोमेशन इट कैन इंक्लूड एक्यूट फॉर वन और टू और थ्री डेज और क्रॉनिक सिक्स मंथ बैक वन ईयर बैक लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री विल बी देर पेलविक पेन विच कैन बी रिजल्ट फ्रॉम ए डिफरेंट कंडीशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर मे बी पी आई डी प्लीज राइट डाउन पेलविक इन्फ्लोमेटरी डिसीज पी आई डी सेकेंड देर मे बी एंडोमेट्रियोसिस दैट मीन्स इंटरनल लाइनिंग ऑफ द यूटेरस दैट पर्टिकुलर लाइनिंग इज अटैच टू द फेलोपियन ट्यूब्स और ओवरीज और आउटसाइड द यूटेरस दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एंडोमेट्रियोसिस देर मे बी कंडीशन लाइक यूटेरा इन फाइब्रॉइड देर मे इट इज नॉट ऑल सम लेडीज विल हैव पी आई डी सम लेडीज विल हैव एंडोमेट्रियोसिस सम लेडीज विल हैव यूटेरा इन फाइब्रॉइड देर मे बी यूरिनरी ट्रैक इन्फेक्शन किडनी स्टोन्स and because of all these there will be always low back pain lower abdominal pain can you get it gluteal muscle pain so mid cycle pain dysmenorrhea will be there ovarian torsion emergency then ruptured ovarian cyst this is also emergency admit the patient corpus luteum cyst follicular cyst ectopic pregnancy adhesions dysmenorrhea and cancer in all these conditions can be compared i am not saying one to one can be compared with sannipatik yoni vyapak okay let us start for the next disease yoni vyapak that is rakta yoni okay rakta yoni now the name itself is giving you the understanding it is related with the rakta dhatu of course pathological but rakta and pitta are ashrayashti so whenever there is a problem in the rakta there will be problem in pitta dosha also so because rakta and pitta are interconnected don't forget this so here nidan nidan has two meanings nidan word in ayurveda has two meaning one is the cause and second is a diagnosis but here we are talking about the causes what are the causes pitta kar ahar pitta kar vihar and pradushta artha infections so pitta kar ahar what is the properties of pitta do you remember the shloka pittam sasneha tikshnoshnam lagu vistram saram dravam pittam sasneha tikshnoshnam lagu vistram saram dravam tikshna and ushna hot heat penetrating these are the properties of pitta so any person especially ladies who are eating always 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 spicy fried food huh? that means excessive pungent taste excessive sour pickles chutneys jams salty substances so this will provoke the pitta but pitta is disturbed by many reasons even nowadays i am seeing young ladies are smoking oh yes in india i am talking about in pune i am talking about smoking that is pitta kar vihar some ladies also share the drink with the group of their friends so alcohol is also now a days in these days common in the ladies so that is pitta kar ahar sorry pitta kar vihar then excessive screen time always working with the social media reels 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 huh? like this so one of the lecture i uh, uh, this motivational speaker he he, he uh, jokingly was saying that nowadays the young generation they are using so much the thumb for getting the reels there some after some many years the in the human being the thumb will be longest finger thumb will be the longest finger because it is adapted uh, services okay anyway coming to the point i am talking about excessive screen time is also making the problem like rakta yoni excessive hot temper huh? always nowadays marriages and divorces are very common phatakkan uh, there is a friendship 
and thudak, there is a separation. Patch up, separation. Patch up. This is the pitta, pittakara. Uh, excessive rajaguna. Okay. According to the charaka, rakta yoni, it is also called as asrija. Can you see here? Asrija. Asruja is the blood. Then, apraja yoni vyapada. Apraja. So, main dosh is the pitta. Lakshana is the rakta. Ati pravrutti. Sanskrit word. Ati pravrutti. Excessive flow of the blood. During the menstrual cycle. The bleeding does not stop. Even when the woman becomes pregnant. Such a hormonal imbalance is there. So it is related with the hormonal imbalance. It is named as asruja because bleeding does not stop even when the woman becomes pregnant. It is named as a apraja because miscarriage is very common. Pregnancy starts and then miscarriage due to the excessive continued bleeding and the woman remains without a progeny. Prajana, Praja is a child. She will not get any child. All the children will be washed out with the miscarriage. It is named as a Raktayoni because there is an excessive bleeding. Okay. So Asruja is the name for this Yoni Vyapad. Now we will see the Chikitsa. As I am telling you repeatedly, I am focusing first today only on the Charak. Okay. So involvement of other dosha should be checked by examining the discharged blood. So it is okay, pitta is there, rakta dhatu is there, pathological, but we have to see whether there is a anubandh, secondary dosh may be vat, secondary dosh may be kapha, in addition to rakta problem. So, aushadi should be given to elevate the concern dosha. We have to balance that uh, pathological dosha, we have to rectify it. So if vata is more, dadhi, Mixed with sharkara, curd and sugar you can give, madhu, honey you can use, yashti madhu, glycer, haiza, glabra, yashth madhu, and nagar, shunt, amapachak, that can be used. For pitta, if the pitta dosha is more, then you can use the musta or the nagaramotha, mixed with the kshira, that is the processed milk, or the medicated milk, sharkara, sugar, and madhu, honey. Of course, these are not to be mixed all the time. Okay, it is according to the patient's condition. If kapha dosha is a more, then ruksha dry and ushna dravyas should be used. Pusha nuga churna for gynec and menstrual disorders associated with white discharge or blue discharge or yellow discharge, brownish discharge, black discharge and pinkish discharge. My dear friends, here I would like to make you cautious. After menopause, if any bleeding is taking place, you always suspect the cancer of the cervix or cancer of the uterus. Definitely. If there is a brown, brown color discharge, foul smelling discharge, it indicates or it is a probability that the, uh, that lady is having some cancer problem. Okay. So be careful. Red color is okay. But if it is brown, if it is black, it should make you conscious and do the necessary pap smear or other investigations as and when necessary. Okay. Then Uttarabhasti is a specific Ayurvedic treatment. Catheter is inserted. Sterile. Everything should be sterile. And through the vagina, it, uh, some dravyas are given in the uterus. Okay. So Uttarabhasti. Because you always know Anuvasana Basti, Asthabana Basti. But Uttarabhasti is also one of the treatment in Ayurveda. Okay. Processed with Kashmari and Kutajakwath. Ghee, liquid, of course, we have to make a liquid and to the catheter it is given. Then there is a Asrugdhar Chikitsa you have to give. Now, as this is called as a Asruja Yoni Vyapak, we will see what can be correlation with the modern medicine. Asruja or Rudhirakshara and Rakta Yoni can be correlated with ovulatory or non-ovulatory dysfunctional uterine bleeding or luteal phase defect which lead to the early abortion. Luteal insufficiency, dysfunctional uterine bleeding, please write down these two words that can be compared 
विथ दैट रक्त योनि और असृज योनि व्यापक ओके प्लीज राइट डाउन देन आफ्टर चरका स्टेटमेंट प्रोफेसर देश पांडे इज डिक्टेटिंग टेलिंग टू द स्टूडेंट प्रेजेंट डे ट्रीटमेंट प्रेजेंट डे ट्रीटमेंट वॉट यू कैन गिव प्लीज राइट डाउन नंबर वन महातिक्त घृत महातिक्त घृत और शतावरी घृत महातिक्त घृत और शतावरी घृत वी कैन गिव नंबर टू पाउडर्स विच पाउडर्स चूर्ण वी कैन यूज नंबर वन पुष्यानुग चूर्ण एज देर इज अ पित्त प्रोडोमिन वी कैन यूज अविपत्तिकर चूर्ण एट नाइट अविपत्तिकर चूर्ण देन वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज सम सब्सटन्सेस लाइक फॉर एक्साम्पल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ हुई कोहला स्वरस हुई कोहला केशर सैफ्रॉन देन दारू हलद देन मुस्ता चूर्ण एंड यू हैव टू पुट इट इन द मिल्क एंड शुगर एंड मेक वॉट यू कैन से द सिंपल मेडिकेटेड मिल्क दिस मेडिकेटेड मिल्क कैन बी गिवन फॉर दिस असरुक धर योनि व्यापद और सॉरी असुरजा योनि व्यापद देन वॉट आर द पित्त घन मेडिसिन इन आयुर्वेदा प्लीज राइट डाउन चंद्र कला रस टैबलेट टैबलेट चंद्र कला रस वेरी कूलिंग ठंडा ठंडा कूल कूल स्टिप्टिक एक्शन हिमोस्टैटिक ब्लड विल स्टॉप चंद्र कला रस सेकेंड बोल बद्ध रस वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बोल बद्ध रस टैबलेट आर अवेलेबल यू कैन गिव इन द डी यू बी वेन एवर देर इज अ मेनोरिया देन पॉलीमेनोरिया मेट्रोर हेजिया इन ऑल दिस कंडीशन यू कैन यूज चंद्र कला रस टैबलेट बोल बद्ध रस टैबलेट बोल परपटी टैबलेट इन भस्मा एज देर मे बी एनिमिक कंडीशन यू कैन यूज द सुवर्ण मार्क्षिक भस्म प्रवाड़ भस्म एंड वंग भस्म वंग इज अ क्लेद नाशन एंड वंग धातु इज स्पेसिफिकली एक्टिंग ऑन द शुक्र धातु ऑफ द मेल एंड फीमेल सो वंग भस्म ऑल्सो रेग्युलेट सम हॉर्मोनल मैनेजमेंट रसायन Which is the best rasayan? Vasa valeh. Vasa is adhatoda vasa. Vasa adhatoda vasika. The name, Latin name of the plant. This is kashayarus, and styptic in action. That is immediately stopping the blood, excessive blood. Patya patya. The lady should avoid the spicy, irritant food. She should stop taking alcohol. she should stop taking smoking screen time should be reduced then excessive exercise exertion should be avoided excessive exposure to the sun excessive exposure to the fire should be avoided okay so these are the overall management for this uh, specific rakta yoni or asruja yoni vyapad then we are talking about लोहिताक्ष योनि व्यापद यू कैन राइट डाउन आई विल मार्क दोज पॉइंट फॉर यू लोहिताक्ष योनि व्यापद लोहिताक्ष योनि व्यापद आई विल रिपीट टू और थ्री टाइम्स सो दैट यू कैन गेट अ टाइम फॉर राइटिंग लोहिताक्ष योनि व्यापद ओके सो लेट अस सी दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्रदुष्ट आर्तव Artho is not proper. Some again, there some infections may be there or hormonal imbalance may be there. Actually, this lohitaksha yoni vyapad is not mentioned by Charak. Very interesting. It is not mentioned by Charak. It is mentioned also not by Sushru. Only Vagbhat has mentioned this particular lohitaksha yoni vyapad. So this point you write down Charak cross. Sushru cross only. Vagbhat has mentioned. So there are Vata and Pitta doshas and Lakshanas are Chin Raj, Oligo Menorrhea. Okay. Then there will be Sa Dah burning will be there because Pitta is there. Then Karsh weight loss will be there in this patient and Vivarani color and complexion will be changed in this particular lady. 
Now, if we want to consider this with the modern management, then you can see correlation with the modern medicine. In Lohitaksha, there is a scanty bleeding, which can be correlated with oligomenorrhea due to anemia. Oligomenorrhea due to hemoglobin is less, 10 gram percent, 7 gram percent, etc. Women are generally prone to develop anemia due to excessive menstrual discharge. Okay, now we will go further. This is a Rajaska Yoni Vyapat. Please write down the name. A Rajaska Yoni Vyapad. This is, of course, mentioned by Charaka Samhita, Chikithasthan, chapter number 30. Don't forget, 30. Shlok number 17. Shlok number 17. Write down. Deshpande sir is dictating why you are making a laziness. Start writing. Just for your understanding, here I will write to mention the shloka. Yoni Garbhashayastham. Yoni Garbhashayastham Chet Pittam Sandushayet Asruk. Pittam Sandushayet Asruk. Sa Arajaska Mata Karsha Vaivarnya Janani Brusham. Brusham means 100%. What it will develop problems? Weight loss and why were any? It's very similar to the previous condition. Okay. So, though she is a pitta, the lady is eating too much spicy food, irritating food, smoking, alcohol, excessive screen time, everything will be strained. Then, lakshana anartava, because of the lot of heat in the body. The first lady will get the anemia, and because of that, there will be enough menstrual discharge will not be there. And whole her ojakshe will be there and vaivarine will be there. Discoloration. Tikitsa, kshira paka, medicated milk prepared with jivaniya dravya. For example, jivaka, rishabaka, meda, maha meda, kakoli, kshira kakoli, mudga parani, masha parani, jivanti, madhuka. Madhuka is a jeshta mad. Glycer haiza glabra, licoris. Okay, so all these ravyas you have to mix with the milk and sugar, boil it, one cup milk, one cup water, boil it, reduce the water and drink that particular milk after filtration. Here you can use also Uttara Basti with Grita, especially you can use Phala Grita or Grita prepared from Kashmari and Kutajakwat. Kashmari and Kutajakwat. Now, here I would like to add some dictation, but before that, let us check with the modern medicine what they are talking about this condition. Arajaska, mentioned in Charak, and Lohitakshaya, mentioned by Vagbhat, are very, very similar. Very similar. However, in Arajaska, there is no menstrual flow at all. Previously, it was Oligomenorrhea. Here, a menorrhea. Can you get the difference? Oligo is a less. A menorrhea? No. A menorrhea. The underlying cause, these different causes are very similar to the that Lohitaksha Yonivyapada, that is anemic condition is predominant. Malnourishment, undernourishment, all these conditions are there. Poor socioeconomic status. So, anemia can lead to the amenorrhea, it may be the conditions related with the tuberculosis, it can be the conditions related with the blood, sorry, uh, uterine cancer, it can be related with the HIV. So, all in all these conditions, there can be an amenorrhea, there can be weight loss, there can be discoloration, paleness, which are the symptoms described for a rajaska yoni There is no rajo. Okay, so we will talk about now the treatment with the present present situation. Okay, Charak is great, but today this particular management we can add complement with the present available modern uh, Ayurvedic medicines. For example, in these conditions, Vata Shamana is the most important. Because this is 
धातु क्षयजन्य वात प्रकोप वात प्रकोप इज ऑलवेज बिकॉज ऑफ द टू थिंग्स वन इज अ धातु क्षयजन्य एंड अनदर इज अ मार्गावरोधजन्य डोंट फरगेट दिस वात प्रकोप ऑलवेज विद द टू रीजन वन इज धातु क्षयजन्य रसक्षय रक्त और और रसक्षय रक्त क्षय और मांस क्षय और मेद क्षय और एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा ओज क्षय धातु क्षयजन्य वात प्रकोप सेकेंड मार्गावरोधजन ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन मार्गावरोधजन्य वात प्रकोप हियर धातु क्षयजन्य वात प्रकोप so we should give the nourishing treatment santarpana janya chikitsa this vyadhi is apatarpana so we have to give nourishment santarpana janya then we can use snehana swap we can put the vajana swap shat dhauta ghrit pichu shat dhauta ghrit medicated ghee शत धौत घृत पिचू वी कैन गिव उत्तर बस्ती विथ शत धौत घृत और शतावरी घृत बोथ आर डिफरेंट शत धौत घृत इज डिफरंट शतावरी घृत इज अ डिफरंट डोंट गेट कन्फ्यूज देन अभ्यंतर चिकित्सा वी कैन गिव इंटरनली फल घृत और कल्याणक घृत फलघृत और कल्याणक घृत देन नरिशिंग भस्म वी कैन यूज सुवर्णमाक्षिक भस्म लोह भस्म अभ्रक भस्म रौप्य भस्म लिटिल 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 विथ द मिल्क एंड शुगर वी कैन यूज मौक्तिक भस्म विथ घी देन देर आर डिफरेंट मेडिसिन सूत शेखर टैबलेट और काम दुधा रस और चंद्रकला टैबलेट एज ए रसायन देयर वी कैन यूज ऑल्सो चंद्र प्रभावट चंद्र प्रभावट इज ऑल्सो बेस्ट रसायन देन वासा वले वासा इज एडेटोडा वासी का विच स्टॉप द ब्लीडिंग बट इट इज स्टॉपिंग एबनॉर्मल ब्लीडिंग इट इज नॉट स्टॉपिंग द नॉर्मल ब्लीडिंग नॉर्मल मेस्ट्रोल डिस्चार्ज अदर वासा विल टेक केयर ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग द मसल टोन okay because it is kacharas then amalaki nourishing chatavari is the best nourishing plant in ayurveda chavana prash chandra prabha tablet patya patya she should not do any fasting either for dieting or either for religious fast no fasting she should do the regular abhyanga shirodhara this is very essential she should take the adequate rest not physical and mental stress that that will be the problem okay so we will go for the next disease that is acharana yoni vyapada acharana yoni vyapada what is there what are the causes here you can see nidan acharana yoni vyapad a dhavan or veg dharana but is always recommending charak is also recommending that natural urges should not be suppressed please write down natural urges should not be suppressed if you are having a strong hunger take the food if the dryness in the palate and the lips and the tongue and you are feeling thirsty drink the water if you have the toilet go to the urination if you go want to go for defecation go to for defecation so these natural urges should not be stopped forcefully abnormal na vegan dharayet vat vin mutra kshavatrutchudam nidra kas shramashwas jurumba shru chardireta sam oh sir you are talking too much sanskrita plot of shlokas are my dear friends be brave some important shlokas they are very useful for life long and you will remember don't worry now i am a senior citizen so i can remember because lot of practice is there na vegan dharayet vat vit mutra shavatrut shudham 
निद्रा कास श्रम श्वास जिरुंबाश्रु चर दिरे तो साहब थर्टीन नेचुरल अर्जेस वागबट हैज मेंशन दैट शुड नॉट बी स्टॉप्ड देन देर इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग अनक्लीनलीनेस अनहाइजीन इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉज फॉर दिस अचरणा देर कैन बी पॉसिबल ऑफ बैक्टीरियल इंफेक्शन फंगल इंफेक्शन कंडू विल बी देयर इचिंग विल बी देयर फीवर विल बी देयर non cleanliness of the genital tract problematic then also there may be diabetes these cases always check the blood sugar always check the glycosylated hemoglobin that number should be below 6 better 5.8 5.7 best if it is 7 if it is 8 you are having diabetes then also check the blood sugar okay for acharana yoni vyapada because if the blood sugar is high whatever you do allopathy ayurved it will not be the the condition will not improve okay so doshas are vata dosha jantu sansarg okay then lakshana kandu itching of course vaginal itching then ati can you see rati priya excessive desire for copulation this is actually not physiological <laughs> this is unnecessary irritation to the local nerves because of the itching hyperesthesia unwanted abnormal stimulation to the nerves and that's why there is a desire for the copulation but that is not physiological that is pathological because of the irritation of the nerves okay chikitsa yoni prakshalana dush modern word is a dish bhavana yoni dhavana then uttra basti with siddha taila prepared from boiling taila tila taila with jeevaniya dravya for example jeevak krishabak meda mahameda kakoli kshira kakoli mudga parani masha parani jeevanti and madhuka is a jest madhu yashti madhu likar raiza glabra likar raiza glabra likoris okay then kalk dharana swab pichu powder of yeast mixed with honey it cleans the genital tract then automatically when the cleanliness is there hygiene is improved then infection will go fungus will go cleda will go and show for edema will also be reduced because of the proper kafagna chikitsa okay so now we will try to compare with the modern can you see here the clinical features of a charana which is mentioned by charak and sushruta and vipruta this is a r a p g e t entrance examination these different words from the different text charak sushruta vagbata madhuni dan yoga ratnakar they entrance have the multiple choice question mcq which is having the correlation of the different granthas so whatever mentioned by acharana in charak and sushruta it is mentioned as a vipluta in vagbhata ashtanga rudaya the disease is due to unhygienic practice and owing to the excessive libido desire sex desire is called as libido the woman gets agitated creamy may be taken as a pathogenic microorganisms this condition may also be correlated with female sexual dysfunction and local pathology female sexual dysfunction can be subdivided into sexual desire then arousal orgasmic and sexual pain disorders which may be due to the hormonal or endocrine dysfunction or musculo neuro psycho genic all together there will be some uh, involvement of muscular muscles play is there uncleanliness is there neurological stimulation is there unnecessary irritation and psychological things are there so all together they make the pathology now i would like to tell you the present drug management for this acharana yoni vyapad please write down first is a shodhana shodhan chikitsa very important you can give virechana with with arag vadha arisht or bhava decoction or you can use nishottara trivrut leha you can use 
then you have to give the swab that swab will be with the honey honey pichu madh pichu or it can be dhatakyaadi tail pichu medicated oil dhatakyaadi tail then yoni purana pancha valkala churana you have to put a swab then yoni dhavana washing dish with arakvadadi kwat or trifaladi kwat then uttar basti chatavari ashwagandha jeshtamad bhuikola vidarigand siddh tail can be used for yot uttar basti then abhyantar chikitsa which tablets to clear this infection ayurveda also has some types of ayurvedic style of antibiotics plaid nashana dravyas krumigna dravyas ha agni deepan and pachana dravyas am pachana dravyas all are useful for this uh, acharana yoniya because there is an unhygienic condition arogya vardhini then there may be chandra prabha sukshma triphala and gandhaka rasaya don't forget this combination i usually call them as a uh, what you can say the broad spectrum antibiotic of ayurveda this is deshpande's name popular uh, ayurvedic ayurvedic broad spectrum antibiotic is a pair of sukshma trifala tablet manufactured by ayurveda rasashala pune ayurveda rasashala pune sukshma trifala tablet and gandhaka rasayana from vaidyanath company so this pair is a broad spectrum antibiotic of ayurveda then in churna you can use pushya anuga churna then bhasma trivang bhasma is the best kledanashana and also acting on shukra dhatu reproductive system trivang bhasma nag bang and jasada nag bang and jasada this trivang bhasma is very useful as a kledanashana and also for oja and also for shukra dhatu in both male and female rasayana kushmandaka valeh you can use and most important patya patya is avoid tri doshakar ahar vihar especially avoid abhishandhi which will increase the secretion that should be stopped for example simple things is south indian dishes like uttappa dhokla idli uh, dahi curd most important it should be avoided now we will go further ati charana yoni vyapad अति चरणा योनि व्यापद दिस इज द कॉज इज कैन यू सी अति मैथुन आई एम रिपीटेडली टेलिंग यू द मॉडर्न सेक्सोलॉजी टॉक्स डिफरेंटली दे डोंट यूज दिस अति मैथुन दे से वॉट इज अति मैथुन बट आई एप्रिशिएट आई टेक इट एज ए एडिक्शन ऑफ द सेक्स बिकॉज अति कैनॉट बी डिफाइंड इट वेरीज फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन युअर एज it depends on your sapta dhatu sarata it depends on your oj how much time you can do the sex intercourse copulation but still i can say if mentally there is a addiction of uh, sexual behavior then that can be considered as a ati charana and also second factor is if you are doing these activities beyond your capacity then that is called as ati charana so dosh is a vata naturally dhatu kshayanya vata prakop will be there there will be edema to the genital organs supti like uh, tingling numbness will be there ruja severe pain will be there afterwards okay testicular pain may be there vaginal pain may be there okay so yoni prakshalana with the siddha taila you have to do the dush by boiling tila taila with jeevaniya dravyas for example you can use jeevaka rushabaka meda maha meda काकोली क्षीर काकोली मुद्गपर्णी माशपर्णी जीवंती एंड मधुक देन आस्थापन एंड अनुवासन बसती बिकॉज दिस इज वाता प्रॉब्लम विथ सिद्ध तैल कुथ वात हर द्रव्या हंड्रेड टाइम्स आफ्टर दैट स्वेदन शुड बी डन विथ स्नेह द्रव्या एडिशनली यू कैन यूज वात शाक आहार एंड उपनाह फॉर द लोकल मैनेजमेंट ऑफ शोफ इडिमा Or the swelling and the pain, my dear friends, 
Once again, I will go for the first modern comparison, correlation with the modern medicine. Can you see? Atticharana yoni vyapad can be correlated with vaginal inflammation due to excessive coitus and it can be related with infertility. Infertility. Okay. So, I am going to tell you something in practice what we can use. Anuvasana Asthapan Basti is there, but we can use Pichu. Swab, Shatapaki Taila Pichu. Shatapaki, 100 time processed. Then Abhyantar Chikitsa internally, orally, we can give medicated milk. Shira Pak, that is Shatavari, Ashwagandha and Vidarikan. Please write down. Shatavari, Ashwagandha, Vidarikan, Siddh, milk, dud, you can use. Because this is Dhatu Kshayanyavata Prabhu. Then Bhasma, you can use Abhraka Bhasma, you can use Trivanga Bhasma. Okay? Next, Ghrita, internally as a Rasayana in the morning, on empty stomach, Shatavari Ghrita. You can use Shatavari Ghrita. Then Rasayana, you can use Makarat Vaja tablet or Brahma Rasayana. For the Pathya Pathya, control sexual activity. There should be mental control, physical control. For proper rest, nourishes, diet, hygiene, all these things should be maintained in this particular Aticharana. Now we will see the last point of today's lecture, that is Prakcharana Yoni Vyapad. Prakcharana. Charak, coitus during Balyavastha. Before getting maturity, before getting pragandavastha, before starting your menstrual cycle, before starting action or the activity of your reproductive system by proper pituitary gland hormones and ovary hormones. For example, FSH and LH should be start secreting. Then here also, Estrogen, progesterone should start their activity. Then also you must consider the maturity at the level of mind. Secondary sex character should be properly developed. But if any girl is getting the experience of coitus during the balyavastha, that can create the problem in the female reproductive system, which is called as a prakcharana yoni vyapa. Of course, that is also a rukshakar, vata dosha prakop, dhatu kshayanya vata prakop will be there, excessive vata dushti will be there, and vatika lakshanas will be there. For example, prushtha, kati, uru, and vankshana, pain, 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 pain. There will be pain and there will be pain. Nowadays, because of the exposure to the social media with different sexual stimulating uh, movies and all the series, the young chaps, the students of even 8th, 9th, 10th standard, boyfriend and girlfriend, and they are having the funny and the very pathological ideas in their mind, and they can go with this type of the bad something uh, practices or the malpractices. Okay, so they must be careful, they must be given proper sexual education at the school level by the different uh, motivational or the intellectual and experienced uh, doctors. Separate lectures for the ladies, separate lectures for the male, and they should be explained what are the side effects and bad effects if the sexual activity is done prematurely. Okay? Here what you have to do, because there is a lot of vata, there is a lot of pain, yoni praksharana with the siddha tail, the same formula is applied, many reproductive system problems, Tilataila with Jivaniya Dravyas. Jivaka, Rushabaka, Meda, Mahameda, Kakoli, Kshira Kakoli, Mudgaparani, Mashaparani, Jivanti, and Madhuka. Yeshti Madhu, Jeshtamad, Glycer, Haiza, Glabra, or Likoris. All the are the same names. Then Asthapana and Anuvasana Basti to control Vata Dosha with Siddha Tail. Kukda with Vata Haradravya 100 times. After that, Svedana should be done with Sneha Dravyas. Additionally, Vata Shamak Ahar and Upanaha can be used. Okay. Now, correlation with the modern medicine. 
प्राक्ट मीन्स बिफोर एक्टिविटी चरण मीन सेक्सुअल एक्टिविटी द प्री मैच्योर एक्टिविटी ऑफ सेक्स इज कॉल्ड प्राक्ट चरण आयोनी व्यापक कैन बी को रिलेटेड विथ लो बैकेक ऑफ गायनिकोलॉजिकल ओरिजिन एज द पॉजिटिव फैक्टर इज मेन्शन हैविंग सेक्सुअल एंटरकोर्स एज ए यंग चाइल्ड इट कैन बी को रिलेटेड विथ सेक्सुअल एब्यूज राइट ऑन दिस वर्ड सेक्सुअल एब्यूज विच मे बी लीड टू वेरियस पेन रिलेटेड सिम्टम्स एंड डिस्टर्बेंस ऑफ नॉर्मल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ चाइल्ड एस्पेशली साइकोलॉजिकली विच बिसाइड द सेक्सुअल एक्ट इट सेल्फ इज सजेस्टिव फॉर द एग्रीवेशन ऑफ वात दोषा तो नाउ अगेन वॉट वी कैन डू विद द प्रेजेंट डे कॉन्टेक्ट विच टाइप ऑफ द मेडिसिन वी आर गिविंग अर माय टीम मेंबर्स इफ एनीबडी व्यूअर इज हैविंग द पेशेंट्स विद गायनिकोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम्स the girl problems reproductive age problems infertility problems menstrual cycle problems white discharge problems menopausal problems we have ayurveda academy has the expert gynecological or the ladies doctor please try to understand these ladies doctor will talk to you either by the whatsapp audio call video call they will do the uh, basic case taking and then we discuss together professor deshpande is always making a guidance to all these team members and we do the best possible treatment but this is a paid online consultation you can get it the number whatsapp 9226810630 please only whatsapp because we don't have the time to talk to the lot of people on the phone okay next so this is sexual abuse that i have mentioned especially psychological trauma is much more and i was discussing about the present day treatment for that matter here you can use the swap shatapaki taila pichu then also there will be swedana with using the different shatapushpa or the bala or the priyangu type of the material then uttarabasti we can do always then internally orally we can use the mahayoga raja gugulu for the dhatu kshejanya vata prakop raupya basma then shatavari ghrit as a medicated he rasayana tablet chandra prabha tablet in the morning and the most important is physical and mental rest and absolutely uh, non exposure to the sexual things on the media avoid the social media especially which is provocating your sexual desire so my dear friends today professor deshpande has discussed a lot about the different gynecological problems which are mentioned as a yoni vyapak in ayurveda thank you very much we will see tomorrow with the bal roga or kaumar bhutya tantra subject till then i wish all the best take care and see you in the next video don't forget to share this video and also subscribe my youtube channel for the benefit of the many many people okay thanks a lot take care